Hello learners, welcome back on my channel. You can find educational videos on my channel. And today's video is based on the summary of the chapter related to class 8 English. And the chapter which we are going to discuss today in this video is This is Jody's Fawn. Before starting, instead of rushing to the doctor to treat a small cut or burn, we find quick and effective cures using things available at home. Can you think of some such home remedies for a cut on your knee or a burn on your arm or a bee sting? So in this story, Jody's father has been beaten by a rattlesnake. He quickly kills a doe and uses its heart and liver to draw out the poison. Jody wonders what will happen to the little fawn left without a mother. The primary theme of this story is loneliness and guilt. Jody wished to save his father and so he killed the doe. However, to save himself from the feeling of guilt, he saved the fawn. The fawn and Jody developed a relationship and it is around this kinship between man and animal that this story revolves. Let's talk about character sketches. In this chapter, some main characters which you are going to heard about is Jody. He is a small young boy. He felt bad for Fawn, which is alone in the forest without his mother. Azra Baxter, Penny, father of Jody. He was bitten by a rattlesnake in his hand. He killed a doe and used its heart and liver to cure himself. He allowed his son, Jody, to bring the fawn back home and raise it. Aura Baxter mother of Jody. She also agreed to bring the fawn at house and raise it. And Mill, Wheel and Doe Wilson, forester who helped Jody in finding fawn in the forest. Let's talk about the summary. Jody is emotionally preoccupied with the fawn whose mother had to be killed to save his father's life. He wonders what will happen to the little fawn left without a mother. The story, the story highlights values such as love, care, justice and concern for a living being. Jody's father, Mr. Baxter, had been bitten by a rattlesnake. He killed a dog and used its heart and liver to suck out the venom from his wound. The next morning, he felt much better, but his son Jody felt bad to have left the doors fawn all alone in the forest. He went to his father and reasoned with him the need to bring the fawn to the safety of their home. His father allowed him to go on a search for the fawn. Jody's mother, though gave her consent, feared for her son's safety in the forest. Doc Wilson and Mill Wheel also approved considering that they had already left the fawn motherless. Jody went with Mill Wheel on his horse, assuring his mother to reach home by dinner. After some time, they reached closer to the path place where his father was beaten. Jody wanted to go on further all alone because he did not want Millwheel to see his disappointment if they failed in finding the fawn. If he found the fawn, he wanted to experience the joy of it all alone as he felt that their meeting would be intense full of emotions and thus personal. Assuring Mill Wheel of his knowledge of directions and his ability to take care of himself, he moved on. 
when jody reached the spot where his father was beaten he found buzzards hovering over the carcass of the dead doe he also found footprints of cats and for and for a moment he feared for the life of the fawn after an intense search he finally found the fawn behind a bush jody noticed that the fawn was shivering and was distrustful he tried to calm the fawn and tried to establish some kind of understanding with him however though the fawn allowed the proximity of jody he didn't move jody then decided to carry the fawn all the way home he first patted the fawn and then lightly lifted him he went around the area where his father was beaten and where lay the carcass of fawn's mother fearing that the scent of his mother would make the fawn restless he had to stop often for breaks as himself being little he was severely struggling with the weight of the fawn and the vines and bushes that lay on his path jody's arm had started hurting he cried on his journey he even managed to win the fawn's trust who gradually grew willing to follow him after a point jody felt such a grand connection with the fawn that all the struggle and pain he was going through no longer mattered by and by they reached their destination the fawn refused to go upstairs probably sensing the presence of his mother's killer but jody carried him to his father who expressed joy at seeing the fawn later jody lovingly fed him milk in the kitchen and enjoyed the fawn's trust and love for him so this is the story of this is jody's fawn what we can say about the moral of this story the story revolves around the theme of the gratitude and kindness even though jody was not allowed to go in search of the fawn initially his kind heart longed for the comfort of the fawn it was this yearning that compelled him to take up the journey when jody met the fawn it was afraid and weak so it is a good story i hope learners my explanation will be helpful to understand the synopsis related to the story this is jody's fawn you can check my other videos related to english literature and english grammar the links are flashing on your screens you can check all that i hope these all links are helpful for you for the better understanding the related chapters and concepts thank you for watching bye bye